in this short video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to obtain sustainability information from Refinitiv Workspace. What you need to have, you need to have a Refinitiv subscription. If you have that, use your username and password to log into the Refinitiv as I'm showing it here. So this is my username. Of course, I'm not going to share my password, but I have already entered it here. Click on the sign in. It will take you to the home page of the Refinitiv workspace. So now we are in the workspace, which looks like this one. It's a home page. Okay, so don't be overwhelmed with so much information. In this video, we are not going to talk about this information which you are seeing on the home page. What we are going to uh, have an exposure to is to the sustainability information. So what you need to do, uh, if you look on the top right, uh, a search bar here, click on that, and then write sus fin. So it means sus, sus for sustainable, fin for finance. So if you write sus fin, as I have written, you will see an option here. The first option, sustainable finance lending page, just click on that. It will take you to the sustainability information and data, whatever you need. Okay, so as you can see here, we are currently on the home page. And under the home page, you see uh, a lot of information. So let's start from the under the home page. Let's look at here what it is showing. It is basically a link to a white paper which shows does board centrality predict future financial performance? So that's one link here. There is another link which is about the diversity and inclusion in the post-COVID world. It's a report. Then on the on the right hand side, we see helpful links. I'm not going to click on these links in this short video, but there are helpful links. You can you can get a lot of information. If you scroll down in the home page, then what you see, you see resource, use, and climate-related news. That may it be carbon neutrality, climate policy, water-related news. And you also see some blog under sustainable finance. Okay, and then we bring come a little bit down in the home page of sustainable finance. We see macro trends, data stream charting about the carbon emissions in the overall world. And we do see carbon emissions in US, EU27, in Asia Pacific region. We can we can see the trend. And by the way, you can click on this. It can take you to the new user interface where you can dig deep into this, um, uh, this data. Then you see coal consumption. Everyone is concerned about transitioning from fossil fuels towards the renewable energy to reduce the carbon emissions so that we can reduce the uh, increase of the global temperature and and, uh, and 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 an outcome of it will be reducing the natural disasters and a healthy and livable planet for everyone. Okay, so this information, you can see what's happening uh, in China, Russia, US, Europe, other, uh, and, and in India, in, in, in major uh, economies, uh, what's happening about coal consumption. Then clean energy production. And then we have EU uh, coal and renewable energy. You can have a look at that. Look at coal uh, dropping renewable energy going up. And this is what the effort, all the effort is going on, how we can reduce the transition from fossil fuels towards the renewable energy. You can click on this chart, it can take you to the new page where you can do more analysis. You go down, you see research spotlight. If you are a researcher working in, in academia, you want to see what important research papers are coming from a refinitive platform you can come to this research spotlight page and you can read an interesting articles here. If you come down, then you can see ESG performance versus benchmark. So there is an information available which you can uh, explore. I'm going up. Uh, we have quickly browsed the home page, and next to it is an app and views tab. I'm going to click on that. You see a lot of charts and figures, but I want you Again, not to get overwhelmed with a lot of information. Start first thing first. What you what what we what you can look at the first thing under apps and views is company data. So if you want to invest in companies which are more uh, uh, sustainability friendly, which are more carbon neutral, which are more socially responsible, 
uh, which are more supporting towards both diversity, employee diversity, paying their employees well in terms of uh, compensation. You can look, you can come under this company uh, and look at the ESG app. So in ESG app, you can see statement view, you can see fact sheet view, you can see scoring profile view, and you can also see pair analysis view. Like if you want to invest in one company over the other in the same sector based on your ESG beliefs, so you can compare and contrast uh, uh, those two companies or more than two companies based on certain ESG parameters based on your beliefs, and you can then narrow down your investment decision. Then under ESG app, you also see SFDR. Uh, you can have a, a view of that. Then you have sustainability dashboard view sustainable leadership monitor, Excel add-in template library. So, so that's also available here. If we go down, you see analytics and research. You can do look at the portfolio analytics, industry app, advanced search, screener. By the way, you can click on each of these and they can take you to the new interface where you can uh, dig deep in, into them. Then you see funds and indices. So funds overview, fund screener, ESG indices. Then you see energy and infrastructure, power market, carbon markets, emissions and clean energy market, infrastructure, 360. You come down, you see fixed income, the bond overview, the bond screener. You look at green bond guide. And you scroll down, you see deals market, sustainability finance review, deal screener. Scroll down further, you see macroeconomic analysis, macro explorer, UN SDG country score template, data stream chart studio, economic indicators. So you can see I have shown you the uh, heaps of different kinds of information about sustainability you can retrieve from, uh, from uh, Refinitive Workspace. Let's have a look at UN SDG country score template. I'm going to click on that. It will open a new interface. You can uh, maximize it as it suits your computer. And here you can search for sustainable development. Just write sustainable uh, development. And then then it will show here the first First thing, sustainable development goal country score. You want to download this information. It should be downloaded uh, in your computer. Once you click on that, it goes in a download. Let me see where it is going. So if you click on download, yeah, it's downloaded here. So you click on that, then Excel file is opening. It will show us the the country score against the SDGs. For example, you can search for your country. The low score, uh, which is two here, is given to Somalia. The highest score, if I scroll down, is received by United Kingdom. I'm from Australia, so I can search for Australia. Australia is getting a score of 8.5 and stand somewhere here in the top top countries based on SDG uh, scoring profile given by Refinitiv in this template. And I was on the overall overview result chart here. If you want to look at instructions, you can look at that SDG framework and mapping. So basically these are the baseline uh, tabs to get this overall result chart. Then SDG aggregate ranks, the country point table, and there is a lot of uh, more information which you can uh, browse on your own. I'm going up again. So this was um, an apps and overview tab. Then you can go to the document hub. So under document hub, there are fact sheets available. Okay, so you can click on these fact sheets. For example, Refinitiv ESG score. You click on that, it will take you to a PDF file which shows the, the key facts about the ESG scores 
uh, by refinitive icon. Okay, so it, it may take some time depending on your internet speed. Once it's there, you can read this document to, to understand the key facts about the refinitive ESG score. Okay, so the fact sheets, fact sheets are there. Then quick reference guides are available. For example, ESG application, you can click on that. It can take you to the uh, document which gives um, the overview of the ESG uh, applications uh, in Refinitive Workspace. Okay, so again, it, it is taking a little bit of time depending on the size of the document and your internet speed. And some other factors may also contribute. So look at here, the document is downloaded and you can browse, you can scroll it down to see what it contains. Okay, so that was about the uh, quick uh, reference cards. Then you have methodology. Like if you want to know how Refinitiv construct the ESG scores of the uh, of the entities, you can click on Refinitiv ESG scores methodology, and it can give you a PDF uh, document which contains all the steps Refinitiv adopts to come up with the ESG score of a company. Yeah, it's here. And last but not the least, research uh, conducted from the platform of Refinitiv is also listed here. Again, if you're an academic, a researcher, it's good to come to this section and see what research is uh, coming up. Okay, so I'm, I'm done with my video. Uh, I hope that I have given you a food for thoughts for your, for your teaching, for your research for your next discussion with any of your colleagues, with your family members about sustainability issues. If you have a Refinitiv account, come grab the information, get more knowledgeable, participate on those discussions, solve the world issues through your research using these heaps of data and, and make this world a better place. Thank you so much. Thanks for your listening. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share in your network.